Hello Holly Molly and YouTube viewers. Uh, last week I saw something that changed my life. Forget David Blaine, forget Dynamo, forget Paul Daniels. I actually really forget Paul Daniels. I saw Hans Clock, possibly the world's greatest magician. No fancy street magic, just proper old school big tricks. I'm going to go and talk to him now. He's way over the other side of London. How did they used to do it on Rent-A- Rent a ghost, it was... Wow, I'm here at the Sadler Wells Theatre, which is your secret base whilst you're in London. Everybody, this is Hans Clock. Hi Hans, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm it's been a pleasure to meet you. Thank you, thank you. The hands. <laughs> the hands of hands. hands. Uh, I came to see your show last yeah. week at the press preview. I was blown away. Thank you. Completely blown away. Uh, I've seen a lot of magicians, but I've never seen like a proper old school classic magic show, which is what yours is, right? Yes, it actually is. It, it kind of flies in the face of street magic and kind of, uh, you know, as much as we love Dynamo and David Blaine, they don't have pirates. <laughs> how, how does it all come about? So you're from, you're from Holland, right? Yeah, I'm from Amsterdam. And you've been doing magic for a long, long time. Yeah, my whole life, actually. Magic is a, is a, is a way of um, living, you know, you can't say it's a job. It's my big love is magic. and. It's, uh, it's your day now. You're thinking about creating new evolutions, coming up with some incredible stunts. Uh, but it's funny what you say because it is at the end. It's an old school magic show. Yeah, it's proper. They, they don't exist anymore because people take for granted. They think every magician works in a theater, but that's not true. It, to be honest, we are the only magic show in Europe right now, a big magic show. Yeah. You know? And uh, but it's old school, and I tell a lot about the history in the show. I do the floating light bulb from Blackstone, which is yeah, that, um, the that was amazing. So he he passed his wife passed yes. on the trick to you. I if you don't know what I'm talking about, basically uh, uh, you have to go and see Hans's show. But he, he picks up a light bulb out of a lamp, holds it, lets go, and it's just kind of in the air. So you think, oh, that's quite cool. Where's the <laughs> string? And then it just flies over the audience, and right. it's pretty spectacular, right? And that's and you know that you've got the secret to that. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's one of the best kept secrets in magic today. Now, everybody wants to know it, but I was lucky that we be I became friends with Blackstone right. when I was a child, when I was uh, like 14 years old. And he promised me, because I always ask him, for how do you do the trick with the light bulb? And he always said, very well. He never told me. But he promised me that uh, he would leave me the secret if something would happen to him. And was it, was it just on like a little bit of paper? Is it like a recipe that Grandma it gives you? It was on one of the last written pages that found, oh, by the way, this is something I want to leave to my friend Hans Klok. And so he did years after his death. And she knew how it worked, of course. She was yeah, a yeah. part of it. Yeah. And she told me the secret. And the trick is so old because it was invented by his father in 1901. Yeah. And the original music was for the trick was written by his best wow. friend, Charlie Chaplin. Yes. So I'm, and I'm telling these stories. So it's, it's about history. It's not only about Houdini or about Hans Klok. It's also about all the other, the, the grand illusionists. Because London was a capital, it's all forgotten now, guys. Yeah. You all went too much into that musical uh, business. But like 100 years ago, this was Mama the capital. Mamma Mia, you know. <laughs> no, it's so great, yeah, Mamma Mia, it's a money maker. And I love them, you know, uh, uh, nothing wrong about that. But 100 years ago, in, uh, in 1903, there were seven magic shows. One of them was Houdini in London City. Wow, that would have been cool. So you should be proud of your city. I'm very proud of the yeah, city yeah. and its magical heritage. Right. Uh, and you also, you know, let's let's not beat around the bush here. Your uh, show is literally brimming over with hot women. Oh, uh, yes. Yeah, well, it's a part of the show business, of course. Oh, well, of course. <laughs> you know, and who are you to argue with that? You know, yeah. you, if you, you can choose, then choose to do the You the said, no, I don't ones. want any hot women. <laughs> do, not, do not bring any more hot women in Lear to, oh, okay. <laughs> it's funny, one newspaper wrote, it's, uh, this is really against, um, yeah, how do you say that in English? The, the Feminism. Fem right. <laughs> because you always behead them, and, uh, and they're always Feminism, shmeminism. <laughs> ah, that's so 70s. So, no, it's, uh, <laughs> it's, 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 it's also part of the classical, but it's classical show business anyway, and uh, yeah. But you it, treat them as equals, you cut them into little bits. I'm always bringing them back, so... Another kind of, uh, kind of uh, reoccurring thing in the show are the kind of really fast kind of changes, you know, yeah, where yeah, it's yeah. kind of like... Uh, you're stood there, you pick up a curtain, the curtain drops and it's a woman and you're kind of over in the other stage in a tank reading a newspaper. Or right, yeah, yeah. that's uh, my speciality actually. That's incredible. Metamor metamorphosis, which is original Houdini's and I think I improved it uh, in, in, in 
to 2012. And, and that's my, uh, if they're in the magic world, they say Hans Kork is all about the exchange yeah. tricks that which are the And it's not like the prestige, right? The, you, there's not a twin, Actually, there's no. not a twin hands kind of somewhere else. Well, <laughs> no, of course not. <laughs> no, 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 no. So, um, you never find somebody with <laughs> their hair. Well, you know, I wasn't going to mention the hair. <laughs> But now you mentioned it, you've got extraordinary locks. I like, see, I'm quite proud of my hair. Yeah, you got your But this, these. that's a work of art. No, it's not. It's very, uh, you know, I'm hoping that uh, the Bee Gees that they will make a. The Bee Gees? Uh, Spandau uh, Ballet? You yeah, know, you know, it's, it's, it's all it's, good, man. Um, and it's funny because I went to London and this is such a hip city, you know, everybody looks kind of smart. Um, uh, but and then everybody starts talking about the hair, which is, I have this for the whole, my whole life, you know. It's good hair. It is good it's hair. It's good hair. Yeah. I'm talking to you about other magicians. Yes. When you Seafried and Roy, are they, they are they are they back in action now? Seafried no, no, Roy? they had so a horrible he's, accident. Yeah, so is he better now or is no, he? No, it's not. No, he's getting. He's okay, you know. And uh, uh, these people are, of course, incredible rich. So they have the like nursery around them every day. Yeah. yeah. One of the two guys is uh, Roy. Is hit. He's attacked by a tiger a few years That's ago. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Alive on stage. But what they did, actually, to be honest. They're my biggest heroes, what they did for magic in general. They really made it. They built fakers anyway, yeah. like Frank Sinatra did, and, 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 and so many other great performers like Elvis. So they have their own statute on the strip. Wow. But Sigrid and Roy are a bit uh, underrated, uh, but because they, to me, they were the greatest magicians. People just thought they were, I think, they just, people, they didn't, they didn't, they didn't stay fashionable, did they? They, did, they? People kind of like forgot about them slightly. Uh, yeah, but it, that, that's the, the sad thing. Because of people like David Blaine walking yeah, yeah, yeah. in with his hoodie yeah. and just kind of throwing a card at a window. Yeah. Yeah, but it's all, it's of course, also the media. You know, David Blaine does everything. I've never seen him live on stage. He only does shows no? for TV, you know. And uh, Steve Vendro, they work their ass and he off. He tells the camera where to stand Vegas. as well, doesn't right, he? Yeah, right, yeah. Uh, bl uh, they do good for magic. Uh, but. Um, you good know, for awareness of magic. Yeah, yeah. I, I, not, as, not as good as Harry Potter, though. <laughs> no, but these people don't. They, they don't have a show. You can't see them live. You know. They, so they do everything, uh, and they uh, decide where the camera stands. And they still I respect what they're doing. You know. But you can't compare that with Dave Copfield or Secret and Roy. You know. They, these people are touring and they do a, a live show. What I really want to see, hands. Yeah. I want to see those hands, hands. Those hands. Do some tricks. Their hands. I'm, okay. I show you I'm, some some um, sleight of hands. What's this? And the Dutch are quite famous for doing this. <laughs> hey! I show you some wow, more. Wow, that is I show you good. some more. Look. I'm stood right next to you. <laughs> Look, I have cards. Yeah. Just ordinary cards. Okay. Watch this. What? this. We do this for the camera. Yeah. <laughs> I do one more for you. This is uh, one of my first tricks. <laughs> Beside the bottle one. Bring it on. It's ordinary newspaper. Yeah. He's actually ripping this, by the way. Yeah, <laughs> thank you for telling the audience. <laughs> Here we go. Whoa! Here you go. <laughs> thank you for the interview. Oh, you can keep this, by the way. This is present. That is astounding. My God. Thank you. You're like Jesus. Yeah, let's walk over the water. Yeah, let's Where do that teams? now. Make me some wine, quickly. <laughs>